Honest. Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Honest Jane Nowak and the Legacy of Supers. Yeah, of course. I'm continuing to go here within this inline series, of course, but I will say for sure that there is a lot to talk about. Plenty of villains here that I'm going to be talking about here, and of course, this one is pretty much underrated. This is Hela. Basically, another sibling of Thor, another part of the offspring of Odin in Asgard. But of course, Hell is pretty underrated because we never really got to see this villain appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe up until around Thor Ragnarok in 2017. Because what would happen there is that Hela would pretty much become one of the main villains, the main antagonist in a way. Though, of course, the title is simply called Thor Ragnarok. And the reason for that being is, well, a gigantic beast out there called Ragnarok that's destined to destroy Asgard at some point is basically what happens there at the end of the film. But before all that, Helen basically became so powerful that the Mjolnir got destroyed. Yeah. Hela was so powerful that the Mjolnir hammer that Thor had been using the whole time was simply crushed. That's how powerful the villain was at the time. And of course, Thor and Loki both ended up getting scrambled <laughs> and ended up landing on the planet Sakaar, a gigantic junk planet. Well, anyways, the rest of the film is simply dedicated to trying and getting themselves back together. They eventually find others like the Incredible Hulk, as well as Tessa Thompson's character at the time, which was the Valkyrie. They eventually scramble back to Earth after getting back to Asgard and trying to defeat Hela with all the forces that they have combined. And, of course, the only way that was able to truly stop Hela, for sure, was Ragnarok's awakening. All thanks to Thor. Yeah. That was a pretty darn good movie, for what it was. Probably the best part in the Thor trilogy in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I've not seen the first two, but I can tell you for sure, Ragnarok is just one of a kind. Well, anyways. Hello, of course, has just a lot of other abilities here and there. Because being super powerful, like I've said, Hela was able to simply destroy the Mjolnir hammer, and, of course, was able to take over Asgard, because Thor and Loki ended up getting scrambled and went off to Sakaar somehow. And, of course, a lot of Hela's other abilities were just brute strength, a lot of agility, plenty of amazing speed and flight. I mean, the numbers are pretty much immense, enough to pretty much overpower Thor and Loki, combined. Because even with a lot of other allied friends here and there, it seemed that they wouldn't really take on Hela on their own. Not even with the Incredible Hulk on their side. Because of course the Hulk was just too busy fighting a giant wolf. Yeah. As strange as that sounds, I mean, yeah. Don't really know where to go from here, but you know what? It just goes to show that an underrated villain with not too many well-known tactics and, well, abilities here and there. I guess there really isn't too much to talk about here. But I will say for sure, maybe we'll see Hello again in other series and films. Who really knows? Well, anyways, that's pretty much all I got to talk about here. But tomorrow I am, in fact, going to be starting to talk about some more villains that are very well-known in any universe that we know about. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side. 